Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new sewing pattern review this time. Uh, today I would like to make a short video, I promise you, about the latest release from Sew Over It, the Xanti skirt. And before I get uh, to it, please, please, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up for the video. And if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, I always like to uh, read your uh, comments. So please don't forget thumbs up to the video. So today I would like to make, uh, I was thinking to combine it a little bit with uh, something else that I just made this week, but I'm just going to make a really short one for the Xanti and then make another video for the other thing. So the Xanti skirt, I'm going to put some pictures in all of the sides. The Xanti skirt from um, Sew so Over It is their latest PDF pattern release. As you might know, I am um, Pattern Insider, together with other ladies, we get the patterns a little bit up front to make them and then at the release date you get to see them in a variety of fabrics and uh, bodies, of course. So, uh, the Xanti skirt has, um, uh, I don't know if they call it the Xanti denim skirt or just a skirt, it has some really cool uh, front uh, pockets here and actually the pocket piece, the front pocket piece is uh, uh, faced with another uh, piece which then is getting sewn into this shaped uh, seam here and it has um, let's see uh, on the front it has a slit in the front a fly with a zipper um, the back has a yoke really nice big pockets I love big pockets on jeans and denim skirts just going to put my uh, my sound off here um, like this. Sorry about that. It has a pretty, uh, a little bit wider waist uh, band and of course uh, uh, belt loops. And the rest of the back is just sewn together in the center back. I really love a good denim skirt and I'm a big fan of denim skirts and you know I love to sew denim uh, in jeans, skirts, dresses, whatever, I love sewing denim. So when I got the email about this uh, uh, skirt, I was immediately, yes, I want to make that. So in Sew Over It, I am sewing a size, usually a size 12 for the upper part of the upper body. And then uh, most of the time, 99% of the time, I'm going to a size 10 for the waist and the hips. And this time, because this pattern is actually made for non-stretch fabrics, I just used, and I wanted to use a piece of denim that I had, and this one does have some stretch, I just make, made a size, straight size um, 10. Afterwards, the only thing that I had to um, adjust in the skirt was, and I'm going to try to show you, because probably you see my... Well, you cannot, can you see it? You cannot see it because I did take it off. But here at the, here at the side seems the pattern the originally has a little bit more of a curve, but I'm more straight. So after I put it together, I did try it on and I decided to make it a little bit straighter exactly where the, here at the, you know, where the high hip is. So I'm not as rounded as the pattern is. I just took a little bit in, made it a little bit straighter. Um, you can see here the pockets a little bit better. This is the inside of the of the dress, of course, of the dress. Oh, I'm keep calling it a dress. It's a skirt. So the inside of the pockets, and here you can see my really pretty label. <laughs> um, what I really liked in the instruction of this, uh, if you are a stitch school, you know that uh, online learning environment from Soverit. You have there, there are some really great um, tutorials also for the fly front and in the sewing instructions from the Xanti skirt there are also um, clickable links that you can go directly to your stitch school um, lessons, let's say, or, or you know where you can find the tutorials. What I really liked about this, um, about this skirt, of course I really love the pockets and all the uh, top stitching opportunities that you have. But I also like the insertion of the fly front. Usually, when you get um, you get or you get a cut on facing for the for the part here, you get a fly. You you the pattern will have that 
uh, facing cut on or you get a separate piece that you have to stitch here and then you put your zipper. Well, in this case, they added just a little bit of extra seam allowance. So you see when, you, when your zipper is closed and inserted and all that, you really don't see the zipper. Most of the time what they forget to tell you when you put, when you have a pattern like this that you have the, uh, the facing, you sew it on and then you put your zipper. They don't say to put the zipper to sew it with a little bit smaller seam allowance and like that you always get I'm going to try to put it here you will get just a little bit of a pick of the zipper so here they put it a little bit of extra allowance on the on the front or on the part where you saw the zipper for the, uh, the first uh, step and that's allowing it to put the zipper a little bit more into the skirt so you really cannot see it you can use whatever color you want so I really like that I did not have to use any tutorials of that of so of something like that because they have their instructions are really really great very easy to follow so I really love that um, so as I said the pockets the front pockets very very nice I used for the back pockets as you can see I used a lot of uh, top stitching and top stitch everything I used some uh, flowers from my sewing machine from the decorative stitches that I have on my sewing machine for the color of the top stitching thread you cannot really see but it's not white it's a little bit of um, well an off-white as they call it and I had this um, this kit for um, sewing thread for jeans it's also including some uh, needles and some patches but you know I'm always wondering what color of uh, top stitching thread to use especially when I use a light denim like this because you know I'm thinking well white is really on your in your face and then that uh, uh, typical denim color so let's see so you know the these colors I'm also thinking well they do work but with this one it was a little bit too light so in the end I went with with this one here I'm just going to show it like this because you can really see the difference with white this is the white one and this is the one that I used and the color of this one is let's see is it that this? Is it, yes, it's this one. The color is uh, 3130. I don't know if you can see it. But this is a great color for light uh, colored denim. Very, very nice. Um, I think this kit is really, really beautiful because you have all the colors here. You can, you know, you can choose your things. And then you have also in the kit a pair of jeans needles. And they are not really the top stitching needles that you um, normally buy because these ones they don't have that really big eye also I think is because I find that this thread is just how they call this thread um, uh, let's see uh, I don't know how they call it I really cannot see also the um, I cannot see the thickness of it but I have the feeling that this, I don't know if it's the same thread that we, we usually buy for top stitching, that extra strong thread, but it worked actually really nicely with this uh, jeans um, needle. And I have the needle here, I did not put it back in the box, but I just put it on a piece of denim and I wrote uh, jeans 90 centi because I know then that I used it only for the for this project, so I can use it a little bit more, I'm not going to throw it away only from one time using. And in the kit you also get some patches. I cannot remember where I bought this one. I think it was in an offer probably. <laughs> but it has also a really cool uh, metal uh, box. So I used color um, 31, 30 for top stitching this light denim. And I think it's a really great uh, color to use for a light denim like this. Um, and I think that's it. And of course for top stitching I used a little bit... Um, bigger uh, longer stitch I think I used about three and a half for top stitching and a three for normal stitching um, I also had to put as usual the tension for the thread a little bit higher to pull everything nicely together and I think it worked really really nicely it also helps you know if you use a little bit the same color on the bobbin so you cannot really see if your tension is a little bit off and for the pockets I must say that for the pockets because this is a stretch denim I did interface the the full pocket here in order to be sure that it's not going my stitching that is not going to uh, 
make the pockets really, I don't know, wavy or something like that and it worked really nicely. I used just something really, really light. Uh, the waistband is not interfaced. I usually don't interface waistbands in jeans because I also want to keep the stretch of the fabric, of course. And but I did interface here around the buttonhole and around the where the button uh, must came. I did interface these pieces of the of the waistband. For the rest, it's not interfaced. So I'm going to put some uh, pictures here. Probably you've seen already. I really like it, I really like the length in the pattern, there is also another cutting line where you can make it a little bit shorter and I've seen it in uh, corduroy and all kind of other fabrics and I think it's just a really great skirt. I think this is, this is one of my favorites now, very very nice and I think definitely it will look really nice also in, in a shorter uh, version. But you can see that on the Sovereign Instagram page uh, there are a lot of versions from the pattern insiders, so I think this is a really great pattern. So this was for today, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video and my um, top stitching um, tips. I really love my skirt, I highly recommend the, the, um, the Xanti skirt from uh, Sew Over It, it was really fun to make and that makes me want also a pair of jeans now, you know, because I really enjoy top stitching. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give thumbs up and I would love to hear your uh, comments about this skirt. I'm going to put the links to the Sovereign uh, webshop in the video description and uh, take care. I hope uh, you, to, you check out also the next video about my really, really cool cream mode skirt, skirt dress in um, Minerva Shali. Take care everybody, bye!